Welcome to part 2 of RDD transformations and actions. We will cover more functions for RDD operations in this video. Sample function Sample function samples a fraction of the data with or without replacement using a given seed of random number generator. As shown in figure, it takes a random fraction of the elements from the dataset. How it will take depends on the fraction, and the seed that we specify. If you want to generate same set of samples multiple times, you can specify the seed. This is usually used to replicate a result during testing. Let's apply this on our dataset. I sample the destination with a fraction sample size of 0.001, and the seed of 123. Sample with replacement flag decides if we resample elements again. True flag is akin to picking a name from a hat, and putting it back in, to collect another sample. Printing the count displays 52, which is roughly 1% of the total sample size. Key function returns RDD with the keys of each tuple. Let's extract keys from the tuple dataset. We take element 8 and 9 from our dataset. Element 8 is carrier and 9 is destination. The output of this is tuple. We can separate keys from the tuple as shown. Similarly, value function work by returning an RDD with the values of each tuple. Let's now looking to join function. It returns RDD containing all pairs of elements with matching keys in self and other. Let's understand this from the figure. I have one RDD with A, A, B, and C keys, and their associated values. And I have another RDD with D, A, B, and A, keys with their values. Now join function takes common keys from both the RDDs, and then joins them in pairs. Each value from match and RDDs will be joined. The key that are not common will be dropped while joining. So value of key, A, in our RDD1, will be joined with all values of RDD2 with the same key name. For key, A, we have 1, 6, and 1, 8 pairs. Then we have 2, 6, and 2, 8 pairs. And then for B we have 3 and 7 pair. Let's create two RDDs join 1 and join 2 from the flights dataset. Now let's join the two RDDs as shown using the join function. We display first four elements of the result. Zip with index function zips the RDD with its element indices and returns a tuple with value and its index. As shown in the figure, element B has index 0, next element A has index 1, and then the next element A has index 2. The output is a tuple, or a list of tuples, with key and element index. Let's see how it works on our flights dataset. We first extract column 17 from the dataset and zip with its own indices.
As shown, we have list of tuples with destinations and associated indices. Sort by key function sorts the RDD, which is assumed to consist of key value pairs. As shown in figure, elements are sorted in alphabetical order of their keys. In our flights example, we will sort the destinations by key. We first extract destinations, zip them up with indices, and then sort them out. As seen, the destinations are sorted in alphabetic order. Group by key groups the values for each key in the RDD into a single sequence. From the figure, it will club the values of similar key in the list. Bs are clubbed together, and As are clubbed together in a list. Let's see our flights example. As before, we will extract destination column first, zip it up with index and then apply group by key. Let's first see how the key value pair of destinations look like. We then apply group by key to it. Then apply collect operation. Collect will get all elements into the driver. It returns the values as iterative object. Which mean for each key, we have to iterate through the values to extract them. We can see from the print, how destination key is grouped together in the RDD. Note that, group 00 is holding the key, and group 01 is holding the values that we are iterating through. Union returns the union of the current RDD with another one. As shown in figure, it simply concatenates the two RDDs. In the example, we define one RDD and do union with itself. The result is a concatenated RDD. Note that collect function returns a list, so the output is the list of RDD elements. Let's formally define collect function now since we used it couple of times before. Note that, unless you have memory, do not use collect function to display. It will crash your system if you have big dataset. Collect function return a list that contains all the elements in this RDD. The figure shows it clearly. The RDD elements are collected into a list. Executing this code returns a list of all the RDD elements. Reduce function is an action that aggregates all the elements of the RDD using some function, and returns the final result to the driver program. Let's see how it works with our dataset. We want to aggregate the number of cancelled flights. We first extract the column of cancelled flights. We then convert string to integer using the map function. And then apply reduce to aggregate the elements. As shown in output, we have 635 cancelled flights in our dataset. Remember that the function should be commutative and associative so that it can be computed correctly in parallel. Additive and multiplicative operations are both commutative and associative, while subtraction and division are not. Reduce by key merges the values for each key using an associative and commutative reduce function.
reduce by key first groups the data by key then applies aggregation function more precisely associative and commutative function from the figure elements are first grouped together by key and the final output only has the unique keys with their values i have an rdd with the key and value pairs When we apply reduce by key with aggregation, the output is B1 and A2, as a values are added together. Let's see in our dataset. We first extract destinations and their distances through columns 17 and 18. We can now aggregate the distances for a given destination by applying reduce by key as shown. This brings us to end of sessions on RDD transformations and actions. Hope you enjoyed the video. We will look into data frames and their operations in the coming videos. Hope you enjoyed this series on RDD operations. See you in the next video.